it's short and stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canna advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, we are going to be diving into my one month review of the new Huffco Peak, as I've been using it as my daily driver for 30 days. Taking 30 dabs out of it puts me at just shy of a thousand dabs on this thing. Did you know the Puffco Peak has become the most talked about e-rig in our community? As it's sold over 200,000 peaks, Puffco has also claimed they've sold a million Puffco Pluses since 2016. With many calling them a game changer, a pioneer, the apple of this industry. Let's get into it and talk about, is it really worth the hype? Disclaimer, I am a Dr. Dabber girl. Well, was. I was a Dr. Dabber girl. Have all their devices, religiously bought all of their products. I'm so hyped about their community. Still am, but things have changed. Watch this video to see why. Now, before jumping in, I would like to address some concerns the general market and population has about a product coming into it as a new consumer or an existing one. But first, let's heat up one. There is no water in this, so I'm gonna rip it dry. Some general concerns people have right off the bat is the price tag. Yes, it is cheaper than the Peak Pro or the OG, but it's still a decent chunk of change. And if you're not already into this niche, is it worth dropping that much? Also another concern, people wanna know if they're breaking it out the box, how easy is it gonna be to set up and use right away? Cheers. Oh, I'm matching the green and the green. <coughs> Water, take five. <coughs> All right, let's get into now what makes the Puffco Peak tick. First, the design. It's sleek, it's compact, it's smooth. It looks great and it works great. Let's get into the functionality next. This delivers consistent rips every time. It heats up quickly and gets to an accurate temperature. There is four preset settings with an additional Easter egg and boost mode. Forget the app, I think this is all you need for consuming good hash. Plus the water filtration on this, when I do choose to put water in there, is out of this world. They've done research in their own lab to make sure the vapor is properly chilled through the water. Total game changer and a lifesaver. They've redone the perk inside from their original stock glass and you can definitely tell a difference. After a month of daily heavy use, it was also super easy to clean. I just Q-tipped it after every use, every day I change the water. Once a week, I do take it apart just to Q-tip everything. And then once a month is when I took the automizer fully out to soak it in 99% ISO for 15 minutes before letting it dry and reassembling. And man, even taking it apart at one month, it was super clean. This atomizer does a nice job of just keeping everything in there. That was my gripe with the OG Peak, was how often I was going through atomizers and how I felt it was almost a poor design. The new 3D chamber that comes stock in this is, but how did it feel during my sessions? Good question. Smooth, it chugged, it ripped. She threw clouds. The vapor production on this thing is amazing, but also the taste. Coming from Dr. Dabber, where it's quartz, the taste is a little different in preservation. You can definitely tell this goes through a silicone base before getting to your mouth. But once getting used to that and honing in your taste, you can really appreciate all the flavors that are present in your product. It was super efficient with my product as well in vaporizing it. If there was a little puddle left over, I'll be honest, I reheated that on the peak mode until it was all gone, Q-tipped it, no stains. If you're consuming truly solventless, there is going to be no particles left behind and you're going to have a clean bucket. 
Now here's the moment of truth. Was the Puffco everything I hoped it would be? I'll be honest, I was a little skeptical about the overhype, the extreme marketing kind of done like Apple was going to be a too much and I was almost going to be let down. I just bought this because it was their cheaper option and I've been using my products heavily. I felt it was time to finally get a Puffco again after I threw out my original peak in frustration. It did guys. I switched teams like I said. I was team Dr. Dr. D. I'm team Puffco now. Steven's been hitting all the other ones, the boost, the excess, the switch, and I'm grabbing this every time. Even if I have to exit out of the heat setting because it's going to 40 seconds, sometimes I only need 20, okay? This baby rips. I love it. I am full-fledged this, 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 this. It just really delivered on flavor and performance and upkeep. Now, I'm also interested in going to their PuffCon event, which is a festival they have in downtown LA. So it's not just about the product, it's about the community. And the CEO goes live every Tuesday night to enjoy his product with the community. Name another CEO doing that, okay? Legendary. I appreciate that. I love that. As a CEO of my own plant product business myself, I just, again, I appreciate that. I see, I see you, Roger. I see you, and I appreciate you. I can't do a review without mentioning some of the cons. Some of the cons I have noticed being when I'm in the sunlight, it's kind of hard to see the light bar. The cap doesn't always stay down all the way. So that's just really annoying. The cap gets so gunky. There's like ridges that are just not the easiest to clean. It does taste a little bit like silicone when you break it out the box and when you clean it, throw some smoke through there and it'll be fine. <laughs> the pamphlet that it comes with isn't that helpful. It has a QR code, but then you have to like click three more clicks from there. So I just wish the handbook was a little more detailed. But yeah, other than that, those are my only cons. I just felt the need I have to mention those so you can see if I'm biased or not. But I did invest my own money in this. Puffco did not send me a product. I am not getting paid. Bought this with my own money as a disabled woman. But I will say, boost if you want to boost it when it's already heated up, just click it two times. That adds adds 18 seconds and it adds 15 degrees. Disco mode doesn't do anything to your heat setting. If you just click it three times while it's heating up, that just changes the lights to do fun stuff, just like a party trick. And then the Easter egg is when you're in white, click it five times and that bumps it to 630. If you don't enter the Easter egg mode, the rig on white will only go to... The white is 590. Click that, you get like an extra 40, 50 degrees, I believe. Not sure it's 620. Not sure if... I think it's like 620 to 650. Don't quote me on that, though. But yeah, I just thought that you guys should have that somewhere in case you wanted to know. Actually, I just read here, click it five times within any heat cycle to initiate a boost meant for dry dabs. All right, I got dry. We're gonna do it on red. One, two, three, four, five. All right, it's heating up disco. I've never done this before. So we're just now realizing this. This is on the one online. You have to go online to find this out. This isn't in the one in there. But if you just wanna see low battery, you just click it three times when it's standing by and it'll flash green, orange, or red. Okay, so this went back to its regular color of red. Let's see if I notice a difference. Wow, considering there's barely any product in here. So click it five times within the heat setting if you're hitting it dry. I gotta remember that. <coughs> so after a month of heavy daily use, as a medical patient and a connoisseur, I can confidently say it is worth the hype. It is well-designed. 
It is high functioning and it definitely enhances my sessions. If you're contemplating on purchasing this device, I'd say go for it. But tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think? Do you think the Puffco is worth all the hype? Let's do another one. If you made it to the end of this video, comment Sky. My peak is dry because I just finished recording my last upload, which was what's in my go bag. My next video I'll be posting is a guide at how to shop at Dispose. So make sure to stay tuned for that. I post videos every Thursday and Saturday. So I'll be seeing you next week. If you like this content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like it. And if you'd like to see more of me, make sure to subscribe. See you soon. Peace. And if no one told you today, I appreciate you.